That stuff from Texas last night traveled hundreds of miles and ended up slamming Mississippi. There was one fatality in Jackson early this morning in the Jackson area in the city of Canton, and this is what it looked like. It's a derecho. Uh, that's the technical term for it, and it traveled over 700 miles from Texas to the Alabama and Florida Gulf Coast before this thing finally got offshore all along the way doing wind damage. You can just see the reports coming out of Louisiana, Mississippi, and then into the southwestern part of Alabama and northwest Florida, where they have had some tremendous thunderstorms in the past 24 hours. Around here we have impact weather, and that's a shade below alert weather. I think storms are mainly just strong, heavy rain, lightning, some wind gusts over 40 miles per hour, some hail is possible, although it is not out of the question that we can have a brief severe thunderstorm because there are some of those in progress over into North Mississippi. Take a look at this one that's on the south side of Hamilton. Lightning like crazy here from Fulton Bridge down Highway 22 over toward County Highway 98 Country Club Road. This is tracking toward the southeast at get this only about 20 miles per hour. So this thing extremely heavy rain now between around P Ridge and downtown Hamilton Highway 278 Interstate 22. Just a mess right now because of all the heavy rain that's coming down hard to drive through that. We've got one extremely intense thunderstorm that's built up over Monroe County, Mississippi. Another one coming in behind that and I think what we're going to see here is essentially a training of thunderstorms that eventually gets into places like Cullman and Blunt, North Jefferson, Walker and Winston counties. You can see how they're building out to the west. New thunderstorm warning there for Lowndes County, Mississippi as this storm is starting to move toward Lamar County. We'll keep an eye on that. But this zone right here from around Marion County Northwest, we may start to see some very significant flooding in that zone just north of Tupelo up toward uh, places like Marshall County and Tippecanoe County, Mississippi. Now for central and south Alabama, the weather is a little quieter right now, but I don't think it's going to stay that way all evening long. Just because we have a risk of thunderstorms, though, doesn't mean everybody gets one. I think our greatest chance of storms, northwestern Alabama from Birmingham northwest to Jasper over to Tuscaloosa and Northport between now and 8 p.m. 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. from Birmingham and Tuscaloosa south through Clanton, Rockford, Alexander City, Sylacauga. And then if they make it as far south as Auburn, it would be after 9 o'clock tonight before we see any sort of significant storms there. So here you see the downpours coming through Birmingham tonight. They start shifting to the south, but even this tomorrow morning, more scattered storms, mainly over west central Alabama. Some of those could be severe, and then we'll watch for some isolated downpours coming up on Saturday afternoon, and a few of those could be severe. So two impact days in a row here. Saturday, a risk of a few strong storms. Sunday, some of the storms may be a bit more intense, similar to what happened last night down toward the Gulf Coast. This will come in two waves with frequent lightning, wind gusts, hail, and potential for some flash flooding. Round one, mainly over the southwestern part of the state. Round two, about noon to midnight on Sunday with locally heavy storms. And we don't see a break coming anytime soon, but at least the temperature comes down some with highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s. You're watching WVTM 13 News.